What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Headquarters. It is my time to give you my final thoughts and review for Call of Duty World War II. So with that said, let's jump right on into it. First off, I gotta say man, this was supposed to have been the Call of Duty to bring COD back. Okay, this is the boots on the ground, we've had advanced movement for the last couple years, everybody was wanting standard boots on the ground, the hype was real in this game, I mean they pumped it up and everything, I mean it had all the potential to be a very successful game, but yet in the end, it was not as successful as they thought it was going to be, okay? When it launched off, the game was not even ready. The dedicated servers could not handle the load, so therefore people was in lobbies, could not connect to a server, then they went to the uh, dedicated host server. So that means whenever you try to create and join a lobby, you might join off of somebody else's internet and ping off of them, which would give you a bad spike, okay? Instead of connecting to a dedicated server beside you, okay? So if you was having one bar lobby and the other team had, you know, standard four or five bars, they was already at advantage because you had a lot of lag. I mean, to me, that is just not the way you want to play. I mean, when I get into a game, I want it to be skill-based, not internet based right create a class setup we wanted the pick 10 system but yet sledgehammer refused to listen to us they made us carry a grenade which also required you to mostly everybody run in 99 percent of the time armored because if you did not run it you was going to get slammed by grenades and die on spike because if you ever play domination and you try to cap a flag their whole team whenever they come off a of spawn all they're going to do is just throw their grenade at you and blow you up and i mean it was just it was just ridiculous. I mean, we wanted the pick 10, not the give me a suppressor, give me a bad net with two attachments. I mean, that was even crazy as well because let me pick my three attachments. Do not give me a suppressor and leave me running like extended mags and grip. I mean, pick 10 just brought so much variety into the game and would allow you to have, you know, more skill-based setups versus everybody carrying grenades and throwing grenades and everything else. I mean, to me, it just, it just wasn't right, man. I mean, I wanted the pick 10 back, but they did not listen to us. Just like on Dom, man. Dom came in at Dom 50. Once that come out, everybody wanted Dom 100, okay? So that, they decided, okay, we're going we're gonna to run a weekend and do Dom 75 and Dom 100 just to see, you know, how the game plays. They did that, and they put a, a poll on Twitter, and by shock, everybody voted Dom 100. But yet, they failed to listen to the community and did what they wanted to do. They went to Dom 75, which left a lot of people mad because they did not care about the community. It was all about, at the end of the day, what they wanted to do with the game, and it did not matter to us, okay? And then, whenever the game launched, it took them almost half a year before they picked up the pace of the game. I mean, if you went running airborne, it took you five hours to get across a map. I mean, every time you die and spawn, it just, it's like a turtle running across the map. You could not get from one end to the other. I mean, Call of Duty is supposed to be a fast paced, first person shooter game. I mean, yes, I understand it's World War II, you want it to be feeling more realistic, but still, you brought the speed up and I mean, it did pretty well. I mean, you should have had that fixed in the very beginning of the game, but yet you failed to listen to the community, okay? Then, you know, we only had four maps pretty much at launch, and all they do is uh, is mostly promoting the camp, you know, Gustav Cannon. Then you brought in Winter Carrington, which in my opinion is the worst Call of Duty map in the world. I mean, I know a lot of people can drop some V2s on it, but I mean, really all you gotta do in that map there is just go get in the window and look down and shoot at people and put bouncing Bettys up the stairs so nobody could come and trap you out. I mean, it does not take that much skill to have a good winning game, I mean, Every time you turn a corner, it seems like you're getting shot from somebody in the window. I mean, it really gets annoying. And I understand they had the war mode. I mean, it was fun to play every now and then, but I mean, you got some XP, but it really didn't go towards a lot because, you know, your uh, KD ratio and everything like that. I mean, but I'm glad in a way it didn't because, I mean, you would die left and right. I mean, it was insane, okay? Whenever y'all was balancing gun sledgehammer, it seemed like all y'all cared about is what the competitors had something to gripe about it. You know, all the pro players. If a gun felt too strong, then you immediately fixed it. But if we have a problem in the game, it felt like you did not want to listen to us. So, I mean, it seemed like you would listen more to the pro players than you would your own community that bought the game. I mean, I know the pro players hype the game, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's the YouTubers and the guys playing the game every day that make the game fun and enjoyable. So, 
why would you not listen to the community but yet you listen to the pro players i mean that's where i think that they went wrong in that aspect and also i wanted it for a while i wanted two basic training but i didn't ever think it would come into the game i've always wanted it from the beginning of like man it would be so bad if we could just have two basic trainings man it would be just so op man and so dominant and i was like they'll never do that and then when they come out at the very end with the commando vision trying to bring back this game because i mean a lot of people done turned over to fortnite and you know, sometimes I'd have hard times finding lobbies every now and then. I mean, that's kind of crazy when the game is not even a year old and I'm having trouble trying to find a lobby. You bringing all this stuff in to the last minute trying to change it, but, you know, sometimes it, the damage is already done. So, I mean, I believe that is what was done in this. I mean, you started giving us what we wanted at the end, but yet you should have done this in the beginning, just like Master Prestige Rewards. I understand. I mean, it took y'all almost 10 months to get us Master Prestige rewards, and they really was not even worth grinding for. I mean, it's just a special kind of camo. You know, y'all griped and complained saying that they didn't want animations in the game because it's World War II, but yet at the end of the game, you start bringing it in, trying to hopes and bringing people in. I guess it's the end of the day, it's y'all's game, whatever y'all want to do with it, but I mean, it really looked bad on y'all. Man, the score streaks was so weak in the game, and the artillery barrage, whenever your teammate would drop it, I mean, it would shake your screen so bad and do damage to you, if I'm not mistaken, in the beginning. But I mean, it would just shake you so bad that you couldn't even move. I mean, and they toned it down just a little bit, but... It's still, in my opinion, too much because that's your team trying to help you win the match. And if it's artillery barrage, I don't think it should, you know, really vibrate your screen that much. I mean, I mean, it's like you're in there and the enemy's artillery barrage and it's, it's not doing no damage. But yet they can still kill me in my own artillery barrage. You know, the score streaks, in my opinion, if you can hit with a fighter pilot, it takes two or three hits. But a guy can take a sniper and hit it. I mean, come on. I mean, that. let's get real, Sledgehammer. I mean, with that gun shooting out of that fighter pilot, it should be a one-shot kill, in my opinion. Okay? And then the guns. Man, there's a lot of guns. I still do not have the Duck Suit 2. I still do not have the Heroic STG. They hid guns behind supply drops and some guns that was not even in the supply drops and didn't even tell you. So you had a lot of people paying all this money, you know, to buy supply drops just to try to get these guns, but yet you did not tell us that they was not in the game. To me, I think that was a bad mistake on Sledgehammer. You know, try to promote people to buy something that isn't even there. I have opened up, I know, over a thousand supply drops, and I still do not have all the guns in the game or the guns that I wanted. The Duck Soup 2 I've been wanting, that STG I've been wanting, but I mean, it is what it is. I gotta get out of here, and I wanna give a shout out to my boys, Christian and Jake, for always stopping by the stream, man. Always staying hype with me, so. Man, if y'all see them in a the stream, man, give them a big thumbs up, man. Give them some shout outs. They always around. If you want to catch me, I'm usually streaming around 7 o'clock Central Standard Time every day. Black Ops 4 is dropping out in less than four days. So be sure to come by the stream and check me out because you know your boy is going to be on here. And when I'm off, I'm going to be doing 12, 14 hour streams. So check me out. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Headquarters. But that is my final thoughts, guys. And I got to get out of here. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And I'll see y'all in Black Ops 4. Come stop by the lobby and tell me you watched this video. And hey, let's throw in some lobbies together, man. Y'all have a good day. Peace.